Hey guys, um, it's Ruby Collins, and I, you know, I look forward to finding a moment to read, and I'm still reading Just Mercy. I'm on to the last uh, portion of the book, last few chapters of the book. And they're talking about brokenness, that we are all broken. And what I gathered by reading this book and then understanding why the author says that we're broken is because, you know, everyone is broken. He felt like he was working so hard on behalf of those who were um, punished unjustly and those who were executed or, or, or facing execution and those who, um, who were going to experience life in prison for, you know, nonviolent or homicidal type crimes. However, he became very discouraged and realized, you know, that he's trying to fix a broken system. And the broken system reminded him that, wait a minute, we all are broken in some way. You know, the system is broken. I'm broken for trying to fix a broken system. And in all of us, there is some brokenness because we are humans. We exist. We deal with all that there is around this world and this earth and we just are trying to be the best human we can be, but somewhere inside of us, we're all broken. And, you know, instead of him, I think he's getting to the point where he says that he's not going to, that he, it seemed as he was going to give up. Like, why am I trying to fix something that's broken? This system has been like this for hundreds of years and I'm trying to, you know, save these individuals from facing the, you know, execution. And, and the system's broken. So I, I thought that he was going to say he wasn't going to do it anymore. And that he gave up. However, he starts to go into the point about being broken and that he's broken. And fixing a broken system is just part of what a broken person does. Because we're all just searching for that something. We are all searching for something. And part of searching is being broken. Because there are so many things and obstacles that come our way. And things that we have to you know, fight and, 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 and experience a lot of heartbreak and happiness and everything that comprises a human being. So I will let you know what happens at the end of the story. And I love it. I'm just enjoying this. Okay. We are all broken. I love you all. Bye-bye. So I have to read about this broken part. I mean, I explained to you, but I want to read what he says. We have a choice. We can embrace our humanness, which means embracing our broken natures and the compassion that remains our best hope for healing. Or we can deny our brokenness, forswear, which means to give up compassion, and as a result, deny our own humanity. I thought of the guards strapping Jimmy Dill to the gurney that very hour, because Jimmy Dill is going to be electrocuted. I thought of people who would cheer his death and see it in some kind of victory. I realized they were broken people too, even if they would never admit it. So many of us have become afraid and angry. We've become so fearful and vengeful that we've thrown away our children, discarded and disabled and sanctioned the imprisonment of the sick and the weak, not because they are a threat to public safety or beyond rehabilitation, but because we think it makes us seem tough, less broken. I thought of the victims of violent crimes and the survivors of murder, murdered loved ones and how we've pressured them to recycle their pain and anguish and give it back to the offenders we prosecute. I thought of the many ways we legalized vengeful and cruel punishments, how we've allowed our victimization to justify the victimization of others. We've submitted to the harsh instinct to crush those among us whose brokenness is almost visible but simply pushing the broken walking away from them or hiding them from sight only ensures that they remain broken and we do too there is no wholeness outside of our reciprocal humanity so we are all broken is what he's saying in essence essentially we are all broken and just it's just it's powerful i think that's just a powerful uh uh, uh, theory or idea. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Love you all.